What's up? This is Christian Espinoza. In this video, we are going to download and install Wireshark on Windows 10 Enterprise. For my setup, I have Windows 10 Enterprise running in VirtualBox, but it doesn't really matter uh, if you have it running in VirtualBox or on your host. So Wireshark, in my opinion, is probably the, one of the top three tools out there uh, that you should master or get some pretty good skills with uh, if you have a job in cybersecurity or in IT in general. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Wireshark. Let's go to Edge. I didn't install a real browser on here yet. Sorry about that. We're still using Edge. <clears throat> I certainly recommend using something else besides Edge like uh, Chrome or Firefox. So we can just search for Wireshark or we can go to Wireshark.org, which is a site. And Wireshark makes it pretty easy. I haven't gone to Sharkfest yet, but they do have a big festival every year, uh, a conference where they discuss Wireshark. You see right here, the registration is open. Maybe, maybe you should check it out. So just click on download. So we are running the 64-bit version of Windows 10 Enterprise. That's what I am running. So you want to make sure you install the right version. Uh, more than likely, you're running the 64-bit, but you can check that if you need to. So just click on that. It'll You can click on Run. All right, so Windows Installer, go ahead and click on Yes here. You can pretty much walk through all the defaults. Next. I agree. Next. You can create the desktop icon if you want to. I like the desktop icon. Next. Uh, so here it's going to ask you about the NPCAP. Go ahead and select Next here as well. That allows you to capture um, packets on the network. If you have a USB NIC, you can install this as well. But basically, by default, your network adapter is not configured to see all traffic. It only will pass traffic up to the operating system that's destined for the MAC address or the IP address of your operating system. Uh, when you install the packet capture driver, it allows the NIC to operate in promiscuous mode, which means it can see all the traffic. That's why that has to be installed for Wireshark to work properly. So here's, uh, I agree here, install. There's the uh, packet capture driver. Once the NPCAP driver is done, click on next here, then finish. Uh, then it takes you back to the Wireshark install. So what that really did is Wireshark got to a certain point then it installed the NPCAT driver. Once that was finished, it went back to the Wireshark installation and is completing that. You see over here the little icon popped up. And if, just a little bit of trivia, if you expand uh, the, the little shark fin, there's a bunch of ones and zeros. That's what that white stuff is on the bottom. I haven't actually like decoded, or decoded it or anything, but uh, just a quick fact there. Click on Next. Uh, we'll go ahead and run it, and we'll just make sure it's working. So I'll leave the browser up, and then we'll do a ping also. So we'll run Wireshark, we'll start it, we'll see if we can capture some traffic, and then that validates that it's working properly. So while that is starting up, I'll go to a command prompt. It looks like it's taking a while to start up. While that's going though, I'll go ahead and get a continuous ping going. Ping uh, littlebub.com dash T, so it's continuous. And then, uh, let's see. So what's it, when you first start Wireshark, you can see which adapter has traffic by the little graph here. So if I double click on this adapter, we can see uh, it's capturing traffic. The ping request is going back and forth, the echo request an echo reply you can hit, click on the plus button to expand this and uh, I, i'll turn the ping off and we can go to uh, a website here we can go to a uh, littlebub.com and you should see some http, HTTP traffic to littlebub.com when we see it right there uh, so wireshark is working and that was the purpose of this uh, video just to show you how to set it up on windows and make sure it's working and do a couple tests. Thanks, have a good one.